A Harlingen woman says her son was hit and killed by a motorist and no one is being held responsible. CBS 4's Patrick Shalvier is here, looked into the case. Patrick, what did you find out? Marcy Neri, Rosalinda Morales says her son, Dylan Morales, loved being outdoors on his motorcycle. He was riding a motorcycle in Willacy County the day he died. Rosalinda Morales has gone through her share of heartache. She lost one son to sudden infant death syndrome, and now she's grieving over the loss of another. He was a tough kid. He, he, he was a tough kid, and, um, but he had the biggest heart. He would do anything for his friends. He would do anything for his family. 20-year-old Dylan Morales was killed on Father's Day on FM 1018, just east of FM 507 in Willacy County. According to investigators, Dylan's motorcycle collided with a friend's motorcycle as they traveled westbound just before midnight. Dylan was thrown from the motorcycle and landed in the eastbound lane. It wasn't until after Dylan was buried that the family found out how he died. We were informed that my son had been run over. Another driver traveling eastbound reportedly struck and killed Dylan. The investigator's report states the driver, quote, did not stop and continued to her residence. Rosalinda wants to know why the other driver wasn't arrested. All we want is justice. We're, you know, if we were doing something wrong, or, but we're fighting for my son. We're fighting for, for what's right. The driver is the common law wife of a county employee, and Rosalinda says she thinks that's why the woman wasn't arrested. I've indicted, I've charged everybody under the book. Did they commit a crime? To paint the picture like it's just an inside job and we're just trying to cover for them. That's not what it is at all. Willacy County District Attorney Bernard Amerman says the other driver hit and killed Dylan about 10 to 15 minutes after he was thrown from the motorcycle. He says the driver was afraid to stop on the poorly lit road, but did make an effort to find out what she hit. The motorcycles were off, off, off the side of the road, and what happened was she was so terrified and it being so dark, she even put this in her uh, statement, that she went home, told her husband, and her husband went, went out there. Amerman says since that night, his office has done everything it could, but ultimately, it was a grand jury's decision to determine whether or not the driver should face charges. The grand jury found no probable cause to believe that the defendant uh, committed a criminal offense. Rosalinda says she's not satisfied and someone must be held responsible for her son's death. How would you feel if it had been your son laying there? and you had to bury him, and no justice was done, how would you feel? Emmerman told CBS 4 News that whenever someone is killed intentionally or not, he sends the case to the grand jury. In this case, the grand jury decided no charges should be filed. In the studio, Patrick Shalvier, CBS 4 News and Valley